Last night it was only speculation. Today it is fact. A huge deal for the Red Sox and in Red Sox history, but perhaps in Major League history when you take into account the number of dollars involved in this deal. Earlier today, the general manager of the Boston Red Sox, Ben Charrington, explained the reasons for the trade. We felt like in order to uh, be the team that we want to be on the field, uh, we needed to make more than cosmetic changes. Um, and so as we look forward to this offseason, um, we felt like the opportunity to um, build the team that, really, that, we, that we need, that, we des that the fans deserve, that we want, um, uh, required a more, a more of a bold move and uh, to give us an opportunity to, um, to really reshape the, the roster, uh, reshape the team. And um, we were, um, it was you know, a, a difficult thing to do to, uh, trade away for players like this. We welcome in Jerry Remy and Jerry. We had a feeling last night it could be one, maybe two players, but this was a blockbuster. I'll tell you, I've never seen anything like it done in baseball as long as I've been around and have this kind of move this late in the season. And the Red Sox unload a ton of payroll. You know, they found a team in the Dodgers who think they can win their division out there. They get these four players from the Red Sox, as you see right now uh, on the screen. And the fact is they took an awful lot of money off the Red Sox hands right now so they can use that in better ways in the future. It had to be changed. Something had to be changed here from last September to this season has been a total disaster and they felt like blowing things up at this point was the right thing to do. Now we'll see how they use that money to make this club competitive for next year. Well, the trade has been made. The four Red Sox players have gone west to Los Angeles. The question is, who is coming from the Dodgers back to the Red Sox and what the Red Sox get in return in this trade? Well, they get a first baseman who's got plenty of Major League experience. James Loney, the lone player to report to Boston. He broke into the majors in 2006 and has spent his entire big league career with the Dodgers until today. He's hitting just 254 this season, but has hit better than 280 in three of the last four seasons. Yvonne De Jesus will report to Pawtucket, a 25-year-old who is a second-round pick in 05. Since 2010, he's hit over 300 in the minors. He's appeared in 40 games for the Dodgers over the last two years. And Alan Webster is a 22-year-old pitcher who has averaged nearly a strikeout per nine innings this year. He was the Dodgers' number two ranked prospect at the beginning of the season. Now, Don, you were talking about the uh, the trade, and I have never seen anything like that at this stage of the season uh, before in my baseball career. And uh, just incredible. We have new ownership out there in L.A., and, and uh, they were hungry for players. They went three games back, I believe, in their division. It appeared that there was going to be one player, maybe two players who you could move and unload some of that salary. But whenever we heard that there were three players of that magnitude. Well, could you imagine being on the phone or the side of the Red Sox and they're <laughs> saying, OK, we'll take uh, Beckett's uh, money. Yes. Uh, we'll take Crawford's we'll money. Take Crawford. We just had Tommy John yeah. surgery. Right. And, and we want Adrian Gonzalez. And we, want it. we really want Adrian. Right. On the ground foul. I mean, how fast do they say yes? Uh, probably pretty fast. Yeah. And now we'll see how the Red Sox use those extra resources to build toward 19, uh, 2013. I also think it is clear that looking back to last year, now that we have seen what happened in September of last year and what has happened this year, it wasn't you working. cannot blame the manager. And this is not working as it's going. Exactly. So, and they always say the old adage is you can't fire 25 players. Well, this is kind of a start. Spent a little time down at the uh, Yawkey Way stage and then moved on to the field for an interview. And everywhere you go, people ask you, you know, what do you exactly, think? And yeah. I say, what do you think? You know, and you're the fan. What do you think? And uh, everybody said it was the right thing to do. I haven't found anybody who doesn't think it was the right thing to do yet. Been a busy 24 hours for the Red Sox and. You know, it is interesting that this has perhaps been going on for a lot longer than any of us really knew, at least with the Dodgers anyway. They had wanted to several different players around the trade deadline that they were unable to obtain. Uh, there was some talk they're interested in Dempster. They wanted another pitcher, starting pitcher, unable to really do that. Uh, they wanted a frontline first baseman. They weren't able to accomplish that. Here in the waiver deal, they get both. They get Beckett and they get Adrian Gonzalez, who I agree with you, Jerry. I think those guys will flourish in Los Angeles. This is in to center field. Dyson is coming in and he'll make the catch that ends the inning. Through one from Fenway, Kansas City on top 3-0.